Hey guys, in this video we are going to discuss that in Microsoft Excel how we can quickly create or how we can quickly prepare a summary report from a detailed report. For example, here we have detailed sales report in which we have customer name, units sold and invoice amount. If we go down in this detailed sales report, we can see that there are almost 7000 rows or 7000 lines. So from such a detailed sales report, how we can quickly prepare a summary report? Before we create a summary report, we need to identify that on which base we want to create summary report. As this is sales report, sales to different customers, that how many units are sold and what is invoice amount for different customers. So obviously we want to create summary report based on customers. So after we identify base on which we want to create our summary report, we can go to data tab. In data tab, we can go to advanced filters and in advanced filter window, in list range, we can select the column based on which we want to create our summary report. As we want to create summary report based on customer name, we can select this whole column. Next thing we will select this copy to another location because obviously we want to copy this data to another location not on same location so next thing copy to we will click here and then we will select cell where we want to copy or where we want to create some report let's say we want to create some report in f1 cell i will select f1 cell next thing check this box unique records only because we want to summarize we want to get here unique records only we will go for ok and here we go here we have all of our customers so we have been already summarized our first column in next step we will summarize our second and third column so we can just simply copy headings of second and third column we can paste here because here we are going to summarize this second and third column now we will use here formula to summarize our second and third column but before we use formula we can create name ranges for all these three columns we can simply select all these three columns including heading we can go to formulas to create name range we will go to create from selection and we will just uncheck this left from left column and we will just leave it as it is top row because we will create name ranges based on this top row or heading we will go for ok and then after that i can show you the name ranges that we have been created the first name range customer name then invoice amount then units sold so now we can use here formula so we can select all these cells we can use sum if formula now range based on which range we want to sum here these units sold this is our range so we can simply write here range that we have been created that is customer name we can write here customer and you can see here below we have this range that we created here i will use tab to select this name range comma then criteria based on this criteria we want to sum this units sold again comma next thing sum range what we want to sum we want to sum these units and for these units or for this column we have been already created our name range that is units sold so i will write here a unit and you can see down here we have name range that we created already i will press tab then we can just insert here close parenthesis enter and here we go we can just simply drag it down and these are the units sold to each customer we can just simply arrange a little bit same thing we can do for invoice amount equal sign sum if range obviously customer name we can write here customer name we can select this range comma what is our criteria this criteria based on this criteria or this customer name we want to sum then again comma what is sum range obviously we want to sum invoice amount so we can write here invoice so this is our name range select this name range close parenthesis enter and these are total sales to this company or this customer we can simply drag it down just use dollar sign and here we go this is our summary board there is another quick and easy way to create same summary report within seconds but in case if you know pivot table how we can create summary report in with second method for that we can go to insert tab we can go to pivot table we can select this whole table we can go for ok it will create a new sheet in this sheet we can use pivot table to create our summary report same as we have here how we can create we can just pick the column based on which we want to create summary report we will drop in rows 
so here we have list of our customers then next we want to summarize units sold and amount as both are both columns are values we will just simply pick and drop in values we can just pick and drag here in values and here we go this is total units sold to each customer and here is total sales to each customer so friends that's all for today if you like this tutorial please don't forget to give thumbs up don't forget to subscribe our youtube channel microsoft office tutorials also don't forget to press bell icon button thanks for watching see you in next video bye bye